Surprise! It's not Banksy, it's me, Adrian, from McLean's, and we've got exclusive access to the Art of Banksy exhibit in Toronto, 80 original artworks from the enigmatic street artist. Let's go check it out. So I'm here with Steve Lazaridis. He's the curator uh, of the exhibit here today. He also uh, used to be uh, Banksy's photographer and manager, is manager, that right? Manager, van driver, you know, street sweeper. Just guy, it, guy around For 12 Banksy. years I did it. So. The two of you sort of had this fairly public falling out. Uh, it's led you a little bit to where we are now with this exhibit of, of these works. What, can you go into a bit about what happened? And, and We just went our different ways. Yeah. It was the, you know, we spent 12 years working together hand in glove and it was a, it was an intense kind of period in time. There's lots going on. And then we both decided that we wanted to do different things. I wanted to rep other artists. So that's, that's how it came about. Mm -hmm. Now he uh, has sort of publicly denounced this exhibit and he's not been a, a fan of, of this particular exhibit. He'd never be because he's not in control of it. Right. But I think that the general public made him. And I think they have the right to see his works. In you know, museums aren't going to put this kind of show on. So if they're not, then we will. So the piece that we're about to see is um, not been seen for at least 12 years and as far as I'm aware it's the biggest piece that Banksy ever painted for a museum show or gallery show. And I just think it's an epic piece. It's like I haven't seen it for 12 years and I think it's amazing. There's so much in it you can stand and look at it for hours. Yeah. See this, this piece is one of my favourites, the designated riot area, just because that's Nelson's column. Right. And yeah. then, you know, there was at least 12 security guards working that day. Yeah. So the fact that he even managed to get the stencil up was, was amazing. And the fact he didn't get arrested. Tell me a bit about what it was like to photograph him, photograph his works. It was great, but you're always kind of a distance away, so there was nothing you could do to help. So with something like this picture, I could see the security coming, but I may be 200 yards away, so there's nothing I can do. So it's, it was quite frustrating sometimes when you want to shout out a warning, but there's nothing you can do. So you kind of, once the play's in motion, then you just got to see it through to the end. Right. Is there a kind of nostalgia for you personally about that and, and, and missing him? Oh, with absolutely. Him that kind of way? Like rolling around on the streets with no pressure whatsoever. It was so much fun. Yeah. You, you know, I had the time of my life. 